who is the Nabi that removed the Nabi Yusuf from his grave? What was the request in return for informing where Nabi Yusuf is buried? Where is the grave now? الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمد الله سبحان حمد عباده الشاكرين العابدين ونصلي ونسلم ونبارك على رسولنا الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد Who from us don't know the story of Yusuf عليه السلام His life started by being thrown into a well then being buried in the Nile River in Egypt and who is the old lady from Bani Israel that informed where he was buried and what was the request in return for informing where Nabi Yusuf is buried who is the Nabi that removed the Nabi Yusuf from his grave and why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command this Nabi to ungrave to unearth Yusuf alayhi salam and rebury him at a different location. Where is the grave now? How is it possible for a Nabi like Yusuf alayhi salam, any ruler of Egypt, to be buried at the bottom of the Nile River? Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu said, our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, wherever a prophet dies, that is where the Prophet's burial spot will be at that very loco location of the death of any Nabi alayhim as How did Yusuf die and get buried in the Nile River? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better and best. Yusuf lived 23 years after the reunion with his father Yaqub, a Nabi of Allah also alayhi salam and the rest of the family in Egypt. It was narrated Yusuf alayhi salam lived for 120 years. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered an Nabi Musa alayhi salam to find the body of Yusuf alayhi salam and bury him where his fathers and great grandfathers were. Meaning Yaqub alayhi salam, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ishaq alayhi salam, mashallah tabarakallah which were all buried in Palestine. So Musa asked Bani Israel, who knows where Yusuf's grave is? No one knew where he is. Musa alayhi salam continued to ask around until he ran into an old man, the age of 300 years from Bani Israel. This old man told Musa alayhi salam, my mother knows the location of Yusuf. Alayhi salam's grave. This old lady was very ill, very old. She was 900 years old at the time. People used to live long back then, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This old lady told Musa alayhi salam, I will tell you the location of Yusuf alayhi salam's grave, but I have conditions. Musa said, What do you want? She asked Musa alayhi salam to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give her back her youth and to live a long and equal age that she has lived to up now. So basically she's asking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give her her youth back, asking to be 17 again and to start her life again and to live another 900 years. Musa alayhi salam said, let me ask Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we will give her what she wants. This old lady led Musa alayhi salam to the Nile River in Egypt. She led him there and pointed and she told Musa, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove the water. In a similar fashion that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala split the sea when he drowned Pharaoh.
but for that particular section so Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam can get to the grave of Sayyidina Yusuf Sayyidina's grave was under the Nile River Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam dug out Sayyidina Yusuf he was in a casket made of marmar it's a special type of wood and sealed Musa alayhi salam took Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salam as they were leaving Egypt it is narrated that Yusuf alayhi salam asked Allah to take him and the ayah for this Rabbi qad ataytani min al-mulki wa allamtani min ta'wil al-ahadith fatir al-samawati wal-ard inta waliyi fi al-dunya wal-akhirah tawafani musliman walhaqni bil-salihin my Lord, you have given me from power and authority and taught me interpretations of the dreams. You, originator of the heavens and the earth, you are my supporter and protector in this world and in the hereafter. Take me from this world as a Muslim and let me be amongst the righteous servants. Musa alayhi salam buried Yusuf alayhi salam in Palestine. It is said that Yusuf took an oath before his death from Bani Israel of the time before he died and he said when you leave Egypt take my body to be buried with my forefathers in Palestine Allahu a'la a'lam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better and best Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen